another brisk bite. We're starting here on the main brisk tools page, which you can always get to at bit.ly slash try brisk tools. In this video, we are going to dive into the AI syllabus generator. I already know what you're thinking. No one can create a syllabus as detailed as my syllabus, Tiffany. You're probably right. But here's the thing. Brisk only wants to help do the heavy lifting of 80% of your syllabus. You're going to go in and craft the other 20%. So let's see how Brisk could get us started with a syllabus so that we don't get weighed down by feeling totally overwhelmed starting from scratch. Let's go in and try it. From the main page, we found AI Syllabus Generator, and we're going to click Try It. Brisk is going to launch a fresh Google Doc for us. We're going to get that library and choose a syllabus. Here's the box. This is what it wants us to tell it. Do we need standards included in this syllabus? How many weeks will our class be? I've gone ahead and selected 16 weeks for a ninth grade class. I can go in and select standards if I would like to. Imagining that I'm teaching a math class, which is absolutely not something I should be doing <laughs> in high school, and I can go in and select from specific standards if I would like to. Or I can keep it a little bit more generic. I can simply say, this syllabus should cover a ninth grade integrated math class. Please include things like behavior expectations, academic honesty, AI policy, and a breakdown of our grading scale. And I gave it some guidelines there. I know that what it gives me is not going to be 100% of what I need. But if I brisk it, it's certainly going to give me a great place to start. Whether you're taking on a new prep this year or leaning into new content areas, maybe you've never designed a syllabus before and you just want an outline to start with, this is a great way to start the foundation of a syllabus. So you'll notice that what it gave me was a quick description. I can edit that some course objectives, some behavior expectations, that AI policy and academic policy. I can certainly go in and copy paste from my school's um, policies that they have, but this gives me just a place to start. The grading scale is there. It's made me a little table with a week by week um, opportunity of what topics I might wanna use. You could even think of this as possibly a scope and sequence for your course if you're not using an adopted set of materials. And then after that first pass, Brisk gives me an opportunity to revise, change, or switch things up. So if you're using the syllabus generator, just keep in mind, it's a starting point. Put in as much info as you want, put in the standards if you'd like to lean into those, and use this as an opportunity to start getting ready for a new course with a syllabus. Thanks for joining us for this Brisk Bite. We'll see you again for another one soon.